pipe. Here we have our uh, even root and uh, we're going to reassemble the carburetor. Got all our bits and pieces here and so we'll get on with it. Okay, so in our box here we've got the main aluminium body. Just want to check that uh, the jets are clear. Take out this little fella here. Have a look through it. Always oh, quite clear, give it a blow. That looks okay. And next we'll take out the main. This is a uh, seven, <coughs> this is a quarter inch <coughs> uh, a socket uh, ratchet. You just whip this out of here and have a peep inside here. I'll snap the fucking thing off. Jesus Christ. Well, as I've just seen you, and I'm going to be honest, I've snapped the bloody thing off, haven't I? I was trying to undo the body of the centre one, and they snapped the bleeding thing off. Shit. Anyway, um, thinking about it, I think I can get away with it. There was a bit left inside there, so I've screwed the uh, central jet in. <laughs> um, we'll have to see. We'll have to, you'll have to watch the next episode and see what happens when we try and start this. Maybe it'll go, maybe it'll go mad. Maybe the bleeding thing will blow up, I don't know. Still, it don't owe me nothing, it was a present. Why that snapped off, I don't know. Brass into aluminium seized itself in there. But, give it a blow. It's uh, it's working. The only thing missing is that. Um, so it may work, it may not. Bit of excitement, eh? We'll carry on anyway. Next piece we'll reassemble with, with the... Uh, the float needle I think which is in this packet here which we carefully put away before and just to drop this out there should be the um, spring clip in here which uh, keeps the float itself in place there's the little spring clip there's our little needle we'll have to clean that up a bit more I'll just give this a little uh, brushing there get that in focus I'm not brushing the little rubber tip end by the way. I've got that covered with my thumb so it doesn't damage it. Just trying to smooth off a bit of the crud away from the outside. Make sure it will slide easily up and down inside. I'll just wet that a little bit. I want to be sure as it's going to have a chance of working. And it's got. Uh, petrol on it, it'll, it'll lubricate itself anyway. <coughs> we'll have to see what we've put some fluid on that. Now the inside um, of where the uh, needle valve goes for the float is definitely a bit sticky, I think it's damaged. So I'm going to have to clean this uh, hole out so that needle can move uh, smoothly up and down otherwise it's going to stick. So there we are, the uh, float needle seems to be working alright now, I've, uh, it pops up and down, and you can see that, there they are, see. I think that'll be okay once, we, once the petrol gets on it, that should probably be alright, so we're going to reassemble the rest of it now, so we've got, uh, what we've got here, we've got the little spring clip, that is now scrapped because I broke it off, and uh, there's the float, We've got the chamber and the four screws and we've got our little axle axis pin for the float to go on so we'll give this a clean out. So there we are, we can reassemble this now. Uh, something missing. Ah, the gasket. I'm going to put the old one on just for now because I'm not going to spend any money on this engine now um, until I know there's a chance it's going to be okay. So, we'll reassemble the uh, float. Oh dear, which way does this go up? Yeah, you wish. <laughs> it's the flat side hangs into the bowl, okay? So the part with the mouldings on, it's got the recesses, goes towards the aluminium part, and the flat side goes into the bowl. We have to put the spring clip on first though. Right, the uh, float. So 
so flat side down into the uh, flow chamber and there's our little needle with the spring clipped over can you see it? let's get it in right here just a minute see if I can get this in focus oh right, there we are battery went anyway so we'll put our uh, gasket back on there bring this out slightly it's not in out Yeah, so we'll put our gasket back on there. There's only one way up it can go. Might be nice just to give it a wipe over the first, I suppose. I hope I've put that clip on right. If I haven't, um, I hope someone will comment and put me right on that. I'm not spending any money on this, this motor at all because there is so much wrong with it that uh, I'm not going to risk spending any money on it until I know that there's a chance it's going to be uh, all right so we'll put that on there like that there we are and uh, we assemble this part here I've taken this out it was like a if you saw in the other episodes like a, a duck valve on side mm, not sure about that at all anyway so we'll put this back on here See, I'm bilingual as well. Brilliant. There's a Philips. Oh, Philips, you dopey bugger. Come here, Philips. Oh, what a blow, guy. I remember I bought a brand new engine once. <coughs> It was, a, it, was a, it was a marine motor anyway and uh, 24 hours later went out the harbour and it packed up and the bloke come out engineer the fellow he stripped the carb down and he eventually found one little tiny piece of polystyrene from the packing had blocked one of the jets but all credit to him, I mean, he actually worked on it on the boat. It was only a 16 foot rib. And, uh, yeah, he found it. Showed it me. Tiny, tiny pins, pinprick size. Put it back together again. And it, w and it went. No problem ever since. I mean, nothing wrong with the motor itself, it was the packing, you know. But, uh, just goes to prove, you know. These blokes who know what they're doing, they, uh, they, they seem to know what it is before they even get into it sometimes, yeah. Right, that'll do for now. And, uh, yeah, it'd be a miracle if that works, eh? <laughs> right, so on to the next piece. Um, one way I'll test these to see if it's working is the um, where your petrol inlet hole is. Um, I think that's a petrol inlet. Um, blow down that, then turn the carburetor upside down and blow down this again. Um, if it stops working when you blow it when it's upside down, then you know the uh, valve in the um, float chamber, the needle's working. And uh, so I'll do that now. You can hear that. That's coming through. So now I'll turn it the other way up and see if it does it now. No, nope, that's solid now. So I'll turn it that way up again. And it's working again. Turn it the other way up. No, that's the wrong one. I'm looking blowing down the wrong hole now. Yep, there we are. So I think that's um that's a good sign that it's uh, gonna be working anyway. So there we are, that's the carburetor's part done. For now, anyway. 
the uh, next thing I want to have a quick look at, not that I think there's going to be anything inside here um, worth looking at, but we'll have a look anyway. We'll just open this air intake effort. You can call it an air cleaner because you don't get any dust out of the CD. Um, so, but it's important to get the, the right, the mixture right. So we'll just take that off. Yeah, nothing in there. Just general in the valves. Just for the right mixture. Protect against gushing water, I suppose. No, that's okay. Anyway, next part now is we'll uh, start reassembling something else. Well, that's all for today. Bye for now. Oh, just before we go, of course, uh, almost forgot, we'll put these two screws back in here. And uh, as is quite obvious where this goes, we'll just have a little reminder as to where it goes. Careful not to over tighten these screws because it's only plastic and uh, you'll strip the threads. So, there we are. That's the air uh, intake holes there. It goes into the assembly here and then it goes into the carburetor through here. It's good to know these things, isn't it? I suppose. And this bolts on to the carburetor on here. See that? See that hole there? That goes over that there. And that goes on there. And that's where that part goes. On the back of the motor. And a couple more bolts in there of course. Anyway, that's that's enough for today. Watch out for the next even route trip down one. Bye for now. And uh Leave us a comment and subscribe. Subscribe. It's all free, isn't it? It's all in fun. And you know, I know you can't wait till I try and start this up and the whole bloody thing just goes up with a big bang. <laughs> Bye for now.